About 200 kilometers south of Moscow, in the city of Tula, American musician David Brown and Russian music fan Pavel Bazdyev opened a business together. They called it Soyuz, which means union, which the partners say refers to the union of East and West. The company produces microphones for some of the world's most popular bands, using lathes once used for making Kalashnikov rifles. The factory occupies two floors in a rundown building on the outskirts of Tula, where 12 employees handcraft microphones using old but reliable Soviet machines. Precision engineered, with an elegant retro look and a clean sound praised by professionals, Soyuz microphones have won fans worldwide. The company brings together Russian engineering know-how and American investment, and benefits from the lower labor costs in Russia. We're located in a regional Russian city where the salaries are, are much less than they are in Moscow, let alone in the West. Um, producing a mic in that way in America or in Europe would be prohibitive uh, cost-wise. Um, and you get a different result when you make something by hand, particularly something like a microphone. We understood that if we didn't produce the microphones ourselves, our main focus, we would never be able to reach the quality that we would need in order to reach out to the Western market and represent our product in the right way. That's why we made a decision to organize our own production line, our own company. And slowly, step by step, we got there. Soyuz's top-of-the-line microphone cost $3,500 against $8,000 for rival models. Starting a business in Russia can be challenging. Startups can struggle with the burden of Russian regulation, predatory officials demanding bribes, and the dominant position of state-owned firms that don't welcome rivals. But Brown says that wasn't the case for his company. Soyuz is an exception to general trends in Russia, where companies still struggle against Asian rivals who can make products faster and cheaper. Our engineering sector, although developing actively, has not yet caught up with foreign countries to bridge the gap of the last two decades. Plus, the Asian countries are getting ahead, including in terms of providing engineering services, which makes our engineering sector less competitive. Soyuz's American and Russian founders say they'd consider moving the factory to neighboring Latvia or Estonia if the sanctions or regulations get too onerous to deal with. But until then, they say, it's easier and cheaper to produce in Russia. For writer Faiza El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.